All right, so let's dive into our first topic. Tonight is talking with our friends from Robot in Three Days from First Capital. So let's bring on Griffin Delagrate. We just went over this. We, I just, know went over <laughs> we just went over it, I know. And he's a mentor on Team 2590 Nemesis. So welcome, Griffin. Hi, guys. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming on. So can you tell us a bit more about Robot in Three Days, First Capital, and why you chose First in this challenge and what you hope those in First could get out of it? Yeah, um, Ben uh, actually approached me about doing the robot in three days. Thanks for that, Ben. Uh, yeah, no problem, Griffin. It, it was I'm a great time. On board. <laughs> um, yeah, we um, we really wanted to try it out um, and and see where we could go with it. Um, we uh, twenty five ninety and two two five had worked together a lot before, so we thought we would have a, a really good group of people to try it out with, um, and uh, we. We wanted to set out to see uh, exactly uh, how good of a robot we can make in three days, uh, because the you know I, um, some people are doing the minimum of competitive concept. Um, we we kind of went with the more traditional robot in three days route, um, where uh, we just wanted to try out ideas um, and get it out there for teams to see um, things like the um, the Velcro hatch pickup. Um, I know there's a lot of teams out there with varying resource levels, um, and sometimes you just don't have the the people to try out all the ideas you want to try out. Um, so I think Robot in Three Days um, serves a very a very good purpose for showing people, uh, you know, what's possible in the game, um, and hopefully inspires them to um, try out a bunch of different stuff that we didn't get around to because boy, there is a lot we did not get around to. <laughs> And Ben, what was it like for you? And what did you hope to get out of it? Or what did you hope that other first teams would get out of it? Yeah, um, I would say that the uh, original intent of this was, it was something I'd wanted to do for a while. I did Team Indiana back in 2016, and that was a lot of fun. Um, so it was something that I wanted to do a little bit on the Mar side, uh, try, try something out, maybe a little more locally, try something out with like a, 225's COTS resources because we have an awful lot of COTS in the shop to, to see if we could pull it off. Um, and I'm really happy that we could get uh, some folks from Nemesis on board to to work with it with us. You know, it was a, it was a ton of fun, ton of fun working with them. And um, I feel like we put out a really good RI3D robot for the time frame that we had. It was great to interface a lot with the sponsors too. Um, where we had we had Vex, Andy, Mark, and Rev all on board wow. to uh, to provide parts to us, um, and first updates now as well be, to help us get it out there to the public. So it started out just kind of an idea of hey we want to try this thing, and then after a lot of reach outs to a whole bunch of different uh, different people and locations, it turned into something pretty awesome. So uh, I feel like we we put out a really good product out there, and I'm happy we did it. Um, you know, I highly suggest any other teams who are interested in doing this to do it as well, because it's a great way to work with alumni. It's a great way to get a lot of different different people involved in your community um, that outside of just the students who are involved with the program, too. So um, highly encourage it for others who want to do the same thing. So I, I just want to talk a little bit about kind of this this process here, because this was uh, a little bit different because I had been like you. I've done I did helped out with Team Indiana in regards to filming mm -hmm. and stuff. But I, I will say for for you, uh, you guys, both Ben and Griffin this year, I mean, this was absolutely phenomenal, like the 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 progress and the process that you all made. And like if you look at like I mean, I never thought we'd be making a robot with stingers back again. Right. So it was very <laughs> of 2012. Uh, but. Uh, I mean, you guys just went hard the entire time. Just bust your butts off. Got some really cool stuff out there. And I, I thought it was really neat. And, and just want to give a big compliment and kudos to you. For those who haven't seen these yet, I mean, uh, we have probably, I think, close to 130,000 views on YouTube uh, for this, which is so cool to be able to reach out to the first community uh, that way. And I think it's because you guys were really into, like, hey, let's test this, let's test this, let's test this, and show it off. And Man, those 15-hour days were some of the quickest days ever for being 15-plus-hour days, and it definitely was an amazing time. So, uh, yeah. yeah, so thank you so much. It ended up being there was a 15, and a, I think we had a 17-hour day. We had an 18-and-a-half-hour yeah. day. You know, they just got longer and longer. But, you know, every I said at the beginning, anyone who needs to leave can leave. No one left. Everyone mm -hmm. just wanted to stick around and keep going. So it was uh, it was just a ton of fun. Yeah, everyone really enjoyed uh, doing it. I remember, I remember talking to. Uh, we went out to dinner afterwards, and we were all sitting around the table and just like, man, this was such a great idea, such a fun time. 
And if you guys, by the way, have any questions for our 3D team, we're not going to uh, have Griffin on too long, uh, but we can field some questions. And since Ben was part of that and is gracious enough to hang out with us, uh, we can field some questions. And if uh, Griffin's in chat, he might be able to answer some stuff for you. Not that I'm uh, dedicating you to be here for an hour, Griffin. But, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, I yeah. might lurk. Who knows? Yeah, right? Be, be super, super cool uh, to have something like that. Uh, Christine, I, I got to ask you, uh, is like the three of us were part of the kind of this process here as somebody who uh, who is on a, a, a kind of a, a great team out there, you know, with 125 the neutrons. Uh, how do you how do you vision like robot in three days? Because there's always you know, there always is a little bit of kind of controversy with robot in three days. Right. Is it are we giving teams too much and are they just going to build replicas and copies or is this a, do you view this as kind of an educational experience? I completely think it's an educational experience, even for our team, like having that on during meetings and stuff is awesome for like newer students or, you know, even veteran students or mentors just to see the like strategic design process and getting it done fast. Um, Cause I think for us, like a lot of our newer students have a really hard time figuring out like, okay, how do I just start digging into things? And robot in three days is like the perfect, perfect like example of just going for it. Like pick a concept, pick a strategy and go for it and see what happens. And it's a really great way to to get, you know, a visual on how these like game pieces are interacting, you know, how you can, you know, take all these different approaches. So, you know, even from a quote experienced successful team, like we definitely see it as something really useful and just something really great to have people look at. I think that, you know, it, it could get people to think like this is the only way to do it or this is the easy way to do it, but it's getting people to move forward with with building, which sometimes is the most like crippling thing for teams is getting past that drive base and, and getting something besides a moving drive base going. Absolutely. So we do have the uh, Chungus X reveal video, by the way, uh, how the heck do we come with Chungus X for a name? I don't Griffin, do you want to comment on that by chance? Oh yeah. Well in uh in classic Twitch style, we threw it to the chat uh, and said, Hey, these are some names we got. Uh, which ones do you like the best? I mean, and you, you course, guys still the, came uh, with Chungus X, though. Like, it's not, Chad didn't choose it. Yeah, that was one yeah, of the four okay, finalists okay. you came up with. There, there, there was a lot of vetoing of the hey, names we... that didn't have enough meme involved, I would say. Oh, my goodness. We, yeah. we, we knew the audience. Like... <laughs> exactly. Well, t tell you what, let's show the re uh, reveal video for it, and then we'll uh, come back, Riffin, take a couple minutes with you, and then I'll let you go. So let's take a look at the reveal video for uh, First Capitals, Chungus X. So that was the uh, Chungus X reveal video. I mean, guys, this this robot's pretty awesome. And something I got to ask, Christina, somebody who uh, was not part of this project, if you were to see this robot compete at a week one regional, how do you think it would do? I think it'd do pretty good. <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty good. Um, and it's making me nervous that uh, my team will be seeing Nemesis at uh, Utica. What is it, week two or week three? So oh, yeah. If, if that's what you did in three days... Uh, 
I'm, I'm sure we'll have some <laughs> stiff yeah. competition come week three, but that would be a pretty solid uh, week one robot, especially in districts where we typically see things not working. So, yeah. Uh, Donnie answered this in, in chat, but I just want to uh, ask uh, either Griffin or Ben, uh, uh, PJ the ref asked, uh, are they uh, Neos on the drivetrain or what, what were, what were you guys using for the drivetrain? Here. So the uh, yeah, the drivetrain was Go ahead. Yeah, okay <laughs> the uh, <laughs> the drivetrain was using mini sims. Um, for us, that was an easy choice. Um, the neos are so new, and the drivetrain so critical to the uh, you know the overall robot function. Um, and most importantly, like during the build season, you have time to test things out. But yeah. because we only had three days, we just wanted to go with something we knew was going to work super well. So but three, you three guys did sims use on neos on another component, right, Ben? Yeah, we, we did. Uh, the elevator uh, is running through a uh, Vex Pro gearbox, okay. uh, and those are Neos on the elevator. Um, they work great. Um, so l- looking at, at the bot as we kind of wrap up here, uh, as you guys look at uh, Ben and Griffin into the, the season, how does, like, how does what you guys did on the R3D team, does it have any impact to – your, your teams as you kind of go back and start mentoring with your teams and working with your teams? Uh, or is it just kind of like, hey, we're just throwing all this out the window and let's go back to, you know, cleaning our heads and going forward with that? Yeah. Then you um, to- yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and start on this one. Um, it's not it's not too much. I would say um, the students have ideas that are that, – that kind of you see how it works and they've got one notch better than what – than what they saw works, I guess, if that makes any sense. Sure. Um, yeah. So the the robot's going to look totally different on the the two two five side, at least, than the one that we produced here for this one. It's definitely not going to be any sort of carbon copy. Carbon fiber uh, copy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's the same deal on the twenty five ninety side. Um, I I thought it was uh, it was great to go back to back to the team after we had finished our three D. Um, you get a lot of experience very quickly with the mm-hmm. game yeah. by doing robot in three days um and you know we came so we come back to the team afterwards and we've built an entire robot already oh. and you know with 2590s normal uh six week build season cycle we haven't even started prototyping by the time we come back uh it's still just strategy um and it, w- it was really useful to come back uh and uh you know just dump the wealth of knowledge that all of us got from robot in three days you, you get 50 hours of game piece interaction experience that you can take back to the students and kind of say, you know, from this, this worked well, this did not well, um, you know, and then as they have ideas, you can kind of help, uh, you know, give them ideas about what type of directions might be worth pursuing and which ones are probably going to run to dead ends based on the experience that you've got through that. So it's uh, it's great from a mentorship standpoint and that perspective of understanding game piece interactions because you just spent 50, you know, 50 hours working on it. Absolutely. Hey, Griffin, thank mm-hmm. you so much for coming on to provide your input on the uh, Robot in Three Days First Capital. Can't wait to see what you guys and Nemesis uh, come out with. Appreciate it, buddy. Thanks, Tyler. Thank you. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent. Pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now.